Hi everyone, Amanda here. I home educate my four kids in the UK and today I'm going to talk to you about our morning routine based on the Charlotte Mason method. So we have recently come back from holiday. It is now September 2020 and we're now two weeks in to our new kind of autumn routine for this new kind of academic year. And I just want to take a couple of minutes to share with you what I'm doing in the mornings with all four of my kids. They are age five, seven, 10 and 11. And in terms of UK years, that is year one, year three, year six, and year seven. We use the Charlotte Mason method, and I particularly follow the Ampleside online curriculum. Not 100%, but I use that as my basis. So, so we've started a new morning routine. Basically, we are getting the children up by seven o'clock. By half past seven, we are all going for a run. Sometimes I might go on my own, or my husband might go on his own, but. Uh, one of us will take the kids and so we do a minimum of three kilometers running at half past seven. Then we have breakfast about eight o'clock-ish. Over breakfast is when we start our learning and we group a number of subjects together to do as a group. So the first thing that we do in the morning is our poetry. I read a poem and we are currently working through the year three program for poetry from Ambleside Online. I got it on the Kindle. Uh, I just read it from the Kindle while we're having breakfast. After that, while we're still having breakfast, I normally read a portion of the story of the world. We're doing the Middle Ages. We have just been reading about the Vikings and how they went over to North America and Greenland, which was really, really interesting. Normally after those two things, we tidy up, they go do their chores. They've each got chores like vacuuming or cleaning the toilets. I have a shower. And then we kind of regroup about nine o'clock just for half an hour to do a couple more things as a group. I found that trying to do more than a couple of things doesn't really work. So most mornings uh, I will do a short lesson on the drop apps of Terea Maori. Uh, my children all have little books that they write the words in and the vocabulary as we're learning it. Uh, another thing we do all together most mornings is just read a short passage from the Bible. We're currently finishing up the book of John. Okay, and then after we've done those things, we do a little rotation. So on a Monday, we are doing our art appreciation. So this term we are studying the pictures of Van Gogh, and I'm using this lovely book to help us do that. We've already done a little bit of um, biographical work on him as a person. So how we do the art appreciation is a really simple picture study approach. So we'll just take a picture, they'll all gather around where they can see it, we set a timer for two minutes and we just look at the picture silently without any talking, hopefully, for two minutes and just really look closely. Then I shut the book and ask them to tell me in words what did you see in that picture. Um, and they each have a turn at just saying what they noticed, maybe it was colours, maybe it was what people were doing. Um, I always find it interesting how each of them will pick up something different about the picture that I didn't notice. Then we open the picture back up and we all look at it again for about another one minute and just try and spot the things that the other people noticed. Then we'll just look at the picture again for another like one minute and then we'll have a chat about did we like it and some of them do like his pictures, some of them don't. Um, and we talk about did you like the one we looked at last week better than this one? Which one did you like the most? It's really simple, it only takes five to 10 minutes. I could do it more often than once a week, but at the moment, I'm just trying to keep it simple. And if we do decide to build in more and then that's fine. So that is our appreciation. On Tuesdays, we do our Shakespeare and this term we are studying Twelfth Night. How we do it really simply is just to read a story version first. And I'm gonna, um, halfway through reading it in this particular book, just to get familiar with the characters and the plot. Once we've done it in this, I will read it out of this, which is a bit more of a complicated uh, retelling of the story, but it's still just a story form. Once we've done those, we will start to actually tackle a little bit of the text, and then hopefully at the end of the term, we will watch a play. On Wednesdays, I do music appreciation, and we're currently learning a German folk song called The Happy Wanderer. I believe it's German. Uh, there's a Muppets version that we watch on YouTube, as well as some other versions, and yeah, it's a, just a fun folk song to learn. 
We are also learning the hymn, Be Thou My Vision, and we're listening to Beethoven's symphonies. On Thursday and Friday, I keep it a bit flexible in case there's something that we just feel inspired to do. If not, we we'll just move on and get stuck onto our individual learning. Uh, we've also been beginning a foray into learning Hebrew, and so in the mornings, I do a quick five minute little flashcard of the Hebrew alphabet, or the alphabet, just so we get really confident with all the letters and the sounds they make. Okay, so we've normally finished all that group stuff by about half past nine, and then we go off in our different directions for our individual work. So that is just a quick overview of our morning routine at the moment. It's working quite well. I'm finding that if I'm a little bit disciplined about the timing in the morning, then the rest of the day can be a bit more flexible and spontaneous. We are not governed by the clock at all. But I know if we at least have a time frame to aim for, like get up at seven, go for a run at half or seven, have breakfast at eight, finish our tools by nine. If we can stick to that general rule, everything just seems to then flow for the rest of the day. So thank you so much for watching. If you find this helpful, then please like, um, subscribe, or let a friend know. And I'll see you next time.